Oh, it's not it's not oh there it goes how y'all tonight i know i look like 14 miles of bad road but uh it's been hot here today and i've been busy i'm writing down the names for kelly we got some uh i got some real different stuff tonight and some 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 good uh things like i usually have good vintage thing well everything i think is vintage just about it but um I got some, uh, we're going to do quite a few auctions tonight because I've had some complaints about, um, the pe people's internet, you know, they ain't been able to get in quick enough to, to get it or it lags or whatever. So, um, I'm going to do like Dee has been doing on hers where she, um, Lord, look at how crooked I am, where she, um, refreshes like after, um, after she presses the stop. To make double sure, you know, just who who uh, got the auction thing. But I thought that that might work a little bit better. Woo! Lordy, mercy, Jesus. Y'all, have you ever... I am in need of a new tripod. I know that. Let me see if I got it. It might be falling down, honey. I think this thing's on its last leg. So, I may just fall down any minute. Lady, whoo! I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Are y'all tired today? Norma Jean plus one. Hey, I'm trying to slow this chat down a little bit so I can see everybody. Uh, Ducky Jones. Hey, darling. Hey, Connie. How are you, baby? Hey, Miss Teresa Bryant. Lord, am I screaming, y'all? Am I screaming? Somebody said something about somebody being loud. I thought, well, shoot, fire fuzzy. If somebody's louder than I am. Hey, Mama J. Hey, Butterfly Nurse. Let me see. Hey, Jane Tipton. Hey, Miss Margaret. Kelly and Mark, look, see there, see there. Lord have mercy, goodness save my life. Let me get this thing. Y'all, I'm fixing to get tickled to start snorting now. I'm just gonna tell you, I am, I am just, I am just one second away from this thing after the phone to where I am just gonna snort, y'all. Uh, hey, Corey. Hey, Christy Garza. See, there I go again screaming. I act like y'all on another planet, I reckon. <laughs> hey. Hey, Blue Feather. Kelly, come around here and tell everybody, hey. Hey, Lucy Lou. How you doing, baby? Honey, Miss Ducky, I got her. Sue Burton. Oh, Miss Sue, I'm so good. I, I told you it was cute as a button, didn't I? I got that thing cute. And Lordy mercy, it looks like it's brand new, don't it? I don't believe everybody, anybody has ever used that thing. Or if they did, they kept a lot better care of it than I ever would. Wee, 
yeah. I mean, this thing's, I, I'm in need of one that's stationary. See, mine's got little legs. It looks like a Lego or something. I don't know, like a robot. Uh, transformer or something. It ain't the way to go. I'm gonna tell you right now. Hey, y'all. You need to come around here and tell them hello, Kelly. I did. I wait. Hmm. I didn't see you. Sharon Summers. Lord, I'm behind. Hey, Miss Sharon. Bergen Pines one. Hey, darling. Hey, Michelle! Hey, Agamoy! <laughs> Blue Feather Marker tells her I've been drinking. I thought it was me falling. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you're so loud. I know it, baby. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to be. She said, your mama has skipped me twice now with her tripod acting up. Be most mercantile. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Hey, Laura. Hey, Gamoe. You got that. Yeah, I got her. All right, I'm all the way down to Miss Mary Scott, baby. Right. How y'all doing tonight? Kelly finally decided to come in. And, uh... <coughs> hey, Slick Hendricks. Hey, darling. Yes, so... I may, during the night, it, it may, uh, it may fall, this tripod may fall, it may get, it may sink, but does it slow, thank God, it don't all of a sudden, so, you know, we'll be able to tell and get it back up, but don't you fret, if the Lord lets me live the next Saturday, we'll have a different, we'll have a different one than this. Ducky Jones, I gotta write him down. I got him, I got Ducky way up here at the okay. top. <laughs> Yeah, we are a lot of fun now, that's for sure. That is for sure and for certain. We may not have the best stuff on the internet, but at least we, you know, you have a good time on a Saturday night when you stop in here. Tina B. Tina B. Hi, Tina. Hi, darling. Kelly and Mark has been uh, going and buying fall vegetables all day. They're fixing to get the garden replanted. Y'all leaving the tomatoes in, Kelly? No, we had to take the tomatoes out. I took the tomatoes out. We got collards, all kind of lettuce, every lettuce you can imagine. What else you got, baby? Uh, kale. Kale. Broccoli. Broccoli. What uh, else? Did you say collards? I don't think I said collards. We got two different kind of collards. Who's going to cook them good collards for you, baby? You are. That's right. That's right. Hey, Randy. H-E-I-L-M. I always struggle with his last name. Yes, Sharon, I did. I did yesterday, baby. Hey, Suzanne. And now, y'all, the ones I sent out last week, I had a bad time last week with my uh, arthritis in my hands. So, everybody who, who bought something from me, who got a package, who's getting packages the first of the week that I've been mailing out all this week, you ain't going to have no thank you notes in there this time because I could not hold that pen to save my life to write them. And the ones I did write, you could, wasn't hardly even legible. So if you get them and you can't read them, that's, that's the reason because I just had a hard time. But, um, and it made me feel bad because I really like to do that. You know, I like to put little thank you notes in my uh, packages when they go out. But I just, I couldn't. That wasn't no way. That wasn't no way in this world. Did you see Christy Garza's comment? Pam, did you see my comment about the glass dish I got from you left? Yes, I didn't say that, Christy. But uh, did you get the one with the gold trim on it, the little seashells with the gold trim, Christy? Because that one, uh, to me, that one glowed a lot. There were several pieces that glow a lot. I think the older it is, the more it glows. I don't know if there's any truth to that. It's just something I think. You know, something in my mind, I think. Not, not that it's really... Be most mercantile says. Hey, Suzanne McLean, how are you doing, darling? Oh, thank you, baby. Yes, I do love every one of you. And um, and I was just raised where you send thank you notes about stuff, you know, and um, and cards for everything. But I just could, I just could not do it last week. I just could Paula, not do it. Paula Smith, I sent info. Hey, Abby. Paula Smith. 
I sent info but did not get invoice from last sale. Who's that? Paula Smith. Paula, I didn't get your info, baby. And I tried. Uh, I contacted Dee, another girl that does some sales, the uh, Thrill of the Thrift. And she didn't have your info either. So, it either went. I checked in my uh, junk mail folder. And it wasn't there. So, I don't know. It, but it's crazy. You know, I ain't saying you didn't send it. I'm just saying that uh, my phone might be acting crazy. Or my email might be acting crazy. But... If you'll send it tonight, I promise you I'll send it off in the morning because I've got your stuff held out over here on the, uh, one of the Bombay chests, baby. I ain't going to do nothing with it. I knew you'd, it was some mix-up where uh, I didn't get it. Hey, Ann Dallas from Toronto, Canada. Katie, what'd you get from me last time, baby? What'd you get that you think is so wonderful? I can't remember. <laughs> oh my vintage I'm loving you Oh my vintage Is Cozy Curated Cottage Oh my god Is that vase not Is that mid-century vase That V-shaped vase Is that not the ha, Have you ever seen anything like that in your life Lisa Have you Carl. Is that not the coolest piece you have ever seen Okay Lisa Carl I love that <clears throat> Yes, Christy, it was it was bad last week. It was it was pretty bad. I got the Hazel Atlas. Yes, yes, yes. Those pieces just glowed. Now, see, I bought all that uranium glass except for one piece, uh, except for the little seashell one with the gold trim on it. Every piece of that uranium glass that I sold last week, I bought from one person, and it was an old lady. Now, um, she still had her wits about her. She was at her house. She was moving into an assisted living facility. But she knew her stuff, honey. And she was not giving me a bargain on that uranium glass. I don't care what kind of sob story I give her or nothing. But I didn't mind, you know. I mean, because it, it's, it's nice. And I'm buying it to resale, you know. So, um, I didn't mind it. But, um, she knew her stuff. She knew every piece of what she had, what she paid for it, how old it was. Uh, give me all the history on it and everything. And, you know, I couldn't remember. Save my life. Look at here. See, my sinus is all messed up. Tina B., we're, we're watching it, baby. We appreciate it. We're trying to stay safe. Uh, I don't, I think it's going to probably, we're just what getting some about? bad remnants of it. But we've got a lot of family in, uh, South Louisiana, so. We got a storm coming? Listen at her. That Mama don't eat, Mama's doing nothing but these sales and stuff like that. And she had a bad week last week with her arthritis. She she don't know anything about we got uh, two hurricanes <gasps> fixing and hit the coast at one time. Is it going towards Maria and them? It, some of it's going that way. Uh, it looks straight off. Oh, of my Lord. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl, for posting Mom's uh, email address. Lisa Carl, uh, Vintage and Vinyl has a wrench by the name. That's my mom's email address, oakgrovevintage at gmail.com. <clears throat> okay, we got uh, 60 in here now. Let's get started, y'all. Yes, Miss Ducky, we're going to be safe, honey. I don't know. I don't know. I can't watch the news, especially in an election year. You know, all that, all that jibber-jabber and, and bickering and everything like that, that just, that just gets me upset. And ain't nothing in the world on HGTV or the Food Network now but uh, reruns. So I just watch my YouTube. You know, Teresa, if it ain't happening on YouTube, I don't know what's going on. Teresa Bryant, be very careful, prayers. All right, so let's get started, y'all. Now, Kelly, let's say, tonight I'm going to get my own stuff, and that way it won't run you to death, and you can just put the stuff in there, write the people's names on it, and put it in there. And that, because, you know, I've been taking advantage of you. I know it's been brought to my attention that I might be working you a little bit too hard. That's a lot for you to do. So, um, I'm going to give you a little break. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Because you're my precious angel. Okay, the first thing we have up. Now, this is, I don't know if this is going to show up good or not. But this is a deep, deep navy, like cobalt blue uh, tin. And it is in really good condition. I mean, there ain't a thing in this world wrong with it. And it's from the, um, what's this say? The Box Company. Designed by Dyer, 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 D-A-H-E-R, Long Island City, New York, uh, made in England on the bottom. And it's just, just, like I said, it's just as clean as a whistle, just as clean as a whistle. But isn't that thing pretty? But it is, let's see, oh, snot. 
It's six inches tall. Six inches tall. And it is $10, and it's number 41. $10, number 41, for the, um, dar, dar, <laughs> damn, the southern accent. Uh, this tin, this beautiful floral tin, <laughs> made by D-A-A-G-R in England, is $10, number 41. <laughs> hey, Carol Moser, how are you, baby? You know what? I, I have been laughing about that for two weeks. About that Last week it was bad because now everybody's looking for my side eye. And I'm trying my best not to do it. But I can guarantee you she's going to say something during the night or do something during the night that's going to make me be side-eyeing. You know? <laughs> hey, Nate. Okay. Uh, next up, I have this... Uh, this is by Norcrest, and it's a vintage uh, china dish with, um, Lord, we ain't even got my light plugged up. Maybe that's why things don't look good. Oh. Um, Stink up, Pamela, that's right. <laughs> divided dish. It's like a little trinket dish or candy tidbit dish or something with the gold trim around it. And um, I think those are violets in there. Oh, little hand-painted violets. But it's in really good condition, beautiful as it can be. It's sixteen dollars, and it's number nine. Sixteen dollars, number nine for the Norcrest dish. Okay. Uh. Unplug the printer, baby. Unplug the top plug on that over there. Oh, you got it. I'm not. Mm -mm. Okay, next up, I've got a build style. This is a, a homemaker made or crap hang, you know, homemade. Uh, looks like brand new though. Bib style apron. And it's got the big tie. And I'm a big girl. So, you know, I mean, it fits me pretty good. It's got two pockets. And it's coming down to my knees. You know, it's coming down to my knees. I'm five foot three. And it's coming down to my knees. And it's a heavy, um, <coughs> excuse me, a heavy cotton, and it's just really, really pretty. It's white background, and it's just got all these florals on it. And it's got these two pockets, and it's just made really, really well. I mean, it's homemade, but it's made really, really well. And for the bib style apron, it's $15.00. And it's number 51. $15, number 51 for the bib style apron. Connie, <laughs> hey. A model with a smile. Yeah. Hey, Gamoy, you got that. Hey, Gamoy, got the... Uh -huh. Thank you, baby. Okay, next up, I've got a, um, a scissor keeper wall pocket it says I keep my scissors in this rack if you use them please put them back with a little duck on it and it's you know in perfect condition uh, everything's in perfect condition unless I tell you something's wrong with it you know so I don't have to keep saying that every time but um somebody said twerk in that apron oh yeah I could twerk I can twerk mama can dance now I can, I can throw down some dancing. <laughs> um, it is $12, and it's number two for the scissor keeper wall pocket. $12, number two for the scissor keeper. Empty nesting, too? You can, oh, honey, my mama had one of these on the wall. Yeah, yeah, right by her sewing machine. 
And you didn't touch her fabric scissors, honey. You wanted your tail whooped? You touch me my Sanford's fabric scissors. That'll get it done real quick. Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean, you got that baby. Okay, next up, I've got, now y'all don't know nothing about my town or know where, where we live, but I've got, this cookbook is from the St. Mark's Methodist Church here in Northport, and it's called Bountiful Blessings. You want a book full of, now this ain't, these women right here are serious about their cooking. This ain't no, uh, I've got this recipes out of the family circle or the uh, Southern Living and put it in here. These is good handed down recipes. I mean, they are, let's see, let me see if we got how many recipes is in here. I don't know exactly how many is in here, but it is 224 pages of recipes. That's not counting the index and the front and everything. And there's about three recipes on each one. And it's got um, just your typical uh, sections Appetizers, snacks, beverages, soups, breads, main dishes, vegetables, and desserts and sweets. And um, these is these is good recipes right here. And this recipe book is six dollars, and it's number twenty-four for the Saint Mark's Methodist Church cookbook. Six dollars, number twenty-four. No, there's not, Lucy Lou. I'm telling you, these women throw down. Suzanne McLean. Thank you, Suzanne. A bunch of people. Mm hmm But Suzanne's first. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Next up, and for any of y'all who's here and new, uh, all my linens, any linens that I sell, I have already laundered and everything. But I will tell you, since my hands was messed up this week, this past week, I did not starch and iron them. But I did manage to get them soaked and laundered, and um, then I put them through. I soak them in, uh, what is that stuff I use, baby? Well, like, no, in that bucket. Oxyclean. Oxyclean. Oxyclean, and then I run them through the uh, washing machine. But this is a um, thank you, Hemlock Lady. Finished tea towel. It's called the Country Store, and it just has everything that you would see in a Country Store on it. It's a tan color. It's got browns and reds and golds. Just a real pretty, vibrant tea towel. And is the uh, Country Store tea towel is six dollars. And it's number 26. $6, number 26. Why not, chat? Yeah, empty nesting two. Empty nesting two. Hey, darling, I don't know if you bought from us before, but, um, Katie, will you put my email in there for, uh, empty nesting two? So she can send me her information. <clears throat> Please, ma'am. Thank y'all for the thumbs up. I bet Nate is a savory fan. I don't picture Nate being a sweet fan. Oh, well, I'm so glad you came and found us, baby. Okay, shoot, I'm sitting here reading this and ain't doing nothing. Hey, Stacy. Okay, now I threw this in here because I thought it was cool as I'll get out. Y'all may not like it, but I thought it was cool. 
This is a vintage 1970s denim shoulder bag made out of a vintage pair of Levi's. And it's got a leather belt as the shoulder strap and a money, uh, like a safe hiding place zipper inside the uh, strap. And it, oh, look how short I am. Anyway, it is in really good condition. It is clean as a whistle. It's lined with a real heavy, like, tapestry material inside. It's got an inside pocket. It's got a magnetic snap. And it's just, you know, out of a pair of old vintage Levi's. Just as cute as it can be. And it is $16, number 48. $16, number 48 for the vintage Levi's denim purse. <laughs> they just kill me. <laughs> Laura Bemos, you got it, baby. Man, this is well made. And it well made. I mean, it's homemade, but it was a professional seamstress that made that. Yeah, this is what, who got it? Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos, this is, this is very well made. Wow. I remember when that was popular too. <laughs> okay, we're going to do an auction item now. And I'm going to do, for those of you who's came in late, I said this at the first, but uh, I'm going to say it again because there's some people that came in after I said it. Um... A lot of people's internet isn't as fast as other people's. I know mine is slow, so, you know, when I'm on sales, mine's slow. So, I'm going to do quite a few auction items tonight. And what Dee was doing earlier today that seemed to work real well is she took one device and she refreshed on it and waited a minute after she punched stop. She waited a second or two and hit refresh to make sure that whoever, you know, that the right per that we were giving it to the right person. So, um, that's how we're going to do it tonight. And what you do is, I'm going to show it, and you bid, I give a starting bid, a starting bid price, and then uh, type start into the chat. And then when I do stop, then I'm going to refresh and find out who won it. So, the first thing I'm going to auction, or I guess you say, what do you say? Uh, Best offer or something? I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to say. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to say auction. No. Hmm. Oh well, let the YouTube popo come and get my butt. Okay. The first thing is this poodle thermometer, chalkware piece, and this was new on the. Um, but I, it got all wet and everything, and I had to tear it off because it just got. It just got ruined. I, uh, what? Oh, I was running to the car with it um, on the World's Longest Short Sale, and it come a downpour. Y'all will see if I ever get take the time to do the um, haul video and the shot with me, you'll see the downpour I was caught in when I got all this mess. But um, it's precious as it can be. Like It's got the design looks like a background of black ceramic tile. She's in a little bathtub. She's got her brush and her mirror, little flowers, and got a thermometer right here. And the thermometer does work because it says it's, let's say, 68 degrees in here. But um, anyway, this is going to be an auction item. We're going to start the bidding when I punch in start. Let me get up here, Smokey. Well, I've got to get the timer ready. you okay. got to tell them how long the timer is. Oh, and we're going to do the timer for uh, 90 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds. 90 seconds. Wait just a minute. Ready? Okay. okay. We'll start the bidding at $10 for this. Start. Oh, 
Offer. Okay, offer. offer not a, Okay, offer. St starting bid is $10. So far, Pam's got it. Pam's Eclectic Place. How much time we got, baby? 49 seconds. Randy's got it at 15. Thirty seconds. So far, Randy's got it at fifteen. Ain't she cute, Randy? Are you ready to hit stop? Yeah. N not yet. I'm just saying. I'm up. Oh, not. April Fool's got it at sixteen. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, hang on just a second and I'm gonna refresh this and see who got it. <coughs> this is what mine's showing. Slick Hendrick, you got it, baby, for twenty dollars. Thank you, darling. How much? Twenty dollars. Slick Hendrick's not forty-one. Mm -hmm. That is cute as a button, ain't it? You don't care nothing about the chart wear stuff, though, do you? I or mean, do you? It's okay. It's just not your thing. Now, uh, give me a minute. Let me get my other place back. Okay, buddy. Hey, Aaron. Hey, baby. How are you? And them precious kids of yours. Oh, my Lord. Wait a minute. Who's coming in? Just put Aaron. I'll know who she is. When she, when, uh, Jim said, oh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm needing some new jeans. Or what? How did he say? I can't remember what he said, but that was so cute, precious. And then um, when Miriam says, oh, and last but not least, when she was modeling, I'm telling you what the cutest I can be. <laughs> is, is that the collection vintage? Is that Aaron? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hang on, y'all. I'm going out here to get some more stuff. Okay, next up I have a uh, Little Ones from Japan. He's just a little boy figurine, and he's got this big old fish. He's got like a sailor's cap on, like a fisherman's cap. His little galoshes and everything. He's just as sweet as he can be. He's um, he's six inches tall, <clears throat> and he is seven dollars, and he's number thirty-two for the little ones boy fisherman figurine. 32, number 32 for $7. Lisa Carl. Lisa Carl. He is cute as a button, Lisa. I'm mean, cute as a button. Hey, Humpty Dumpty! Where the world have you been, baby? you. C-H-E-R-E-L-E. -E. 
Okay, next up I have a Bulova um, desktop or tabletop. Now I put this piece of twill paper in here. This is a picture frame. And um, it's a Bulova clock. It uh, works perfect, keeps perfect time. Silver plated. It holds a, I believe it's a five by seven. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, a five by seven uh, picture fits in this side. And it's just really pretty, really, really pretty. It's battery operated. It's got a new battery in it. And it is $15, number 17. $15, number 17, for the Bulova picture frame clock. Desktop, tabletop. Well, did you get Cheryl Megason? Did I, I didn't see her? her come in. No, I got her on the commenter list. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, got got you, on the commenter list. I Tina B, you me. got that, darling, and that, that is really, really pretty. You're going to love it when you see it in person. Hey, Kelly, you want to take a second and take your break and let's do a number generator? Yeah. For $10? Yeah. $10 sale? Give me just a second. Credit? Mm -hmm. $10 sale credit, sale credit, sale credit. Thank you, Katie. I thought that was pretty, too. I'm glad you came. I've been missing you, darling. Okay. One through 46. I know there was 84 people on there, but that's just how many people we've got okay. this time in it. So, generate number 43. Okay. It's got number, this is for the $10 store credit. Number 43 is uh, April Fool. April Fool, you won $10, baby. $10 towards any purchase you make tonight. Or if you don't see anything you want tonight, just in the, you know, $10 anytime in the future. Man, Kelly keeps up with it. Let's call 43. What is 43, baby? Hmm. We haven't shown number 43. Number 43 oh, no, she's is, saying about how many people's. I don't know. Way to go, fool. That's right. Okay, up next I have a set of 1960s Florentine made in Italy uh, framed floral prints. Hey, Crafty Jackie. They have glass in them. Beautiful little prints. Just really pretty. Uh, they are... seven by five and a half they have the hangers on the back and of course they're stamped made in italy and in the 60s these were ten dollars a piece in 1960 I, I really didn't know if i wouldn't have seen that price on there i would have had no idea that those were that expensive back then but anyway they are a beautiful little set off white and gold in the florentine and um, it is, they are $18 for the two, and they're number 52. $18 for the 1960 Florentine made in Italy floral wall hangings. Still got the price sticker on there, and the, the paper. That, I just thought these were so pretty. Oh, my vintage, you got them, baby. <clears throat> I thought those were so pretty too. You like those, baby? Yeah, I do. They're old. Yeah. Okay. Um, Crafty Jackie just came in, and so did Karen's Vintage and More. Hey, y'all! They were saying, telling us, "Hey, hey, babies." 
Yay! You're going to love those. They are, they are really pretty. No more Jean Plus one. Okay. Next up, I don't know if we have any vintage accessory or people in here or not, but um, these are from Burger Phillips in Birmingham. And this place went out of business in the early 1960s. So I know these pieces are older than that. And they are fabulous. It is two um, fur collars. One is mink. One is fox. They don't smell. They are in perfect condition. They don't have any fur loss anywhere. Um, this one is natural mink. This one is natural fox. Um, they both still have the hook closures on them. They are um, finished off in satin. Wow. Um, I just, I'm telling you, these are, for, for vintage fur, this, um, th this is as good a condition as That's I've ever excellent seen. excellent condition. Um, just really pretty. The fox is pretty, but the mink, uh, the mink is beautiful too. Beautiful color, beautiful. And you can see the difference. Let me get them together and you can see the difference. See, the fox is kind of red looking and the uh, mink is that chocolate brown. But um, for the two fur collars, they're $30 for the pair and they're number 14. $30, number 14 for the vintage fur collars. They would really dress a, a outfit for the holidays. Oh my God, could you imagine just a, a plain black dress with one of these around it? Suzanne McLean, you got a deal on those, baby. You're going to love them. Man, and they come in this vintage box, too. So, see? And Burger Phillips, that was a high end store, a furrier in um, Birmingham, Alabama. Who got that? She's. Suzanne McLean, I'm sorry, baby. Did I not tell you? You did, but I was trying to write down the names of the new people coming in. Oh, I'm sorry. Number 14 goes to Suzanne. Carol Price. All right. You got everybody now? I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Set the timer for 90 seconds, baby. Offer up. Offer up. Offer up coming up. <laughs> Big time for uh, 90 seconds. Oh, let me punch start in here. What's well, telling the starting bid? Hold on just a second. Let me. Baby, you know I can't chew gum and think at the same time. Okay, next up is going to be uh, <laughs> offer up, offer bid for. A set of two piano babies, a little girl and a little boy, and it's going to run for 90 seconds. Like I said, the opening bid it is $15. Start. Opening bid fifteen dollars on the two little piano babies. Running for ninety seconds. How long we got now, baby? A minute. <clears throat> Judy, you've got them at sixteen. Crafty Jackie, Judy's got it at 16, baby. $30 for 
35 seconds. 35 seconds. How many now? 25. 25 seconds. Crafty Jackie's got it at 17. Judy's at 18. Let's see. See how quick yours is? It coming way before mine. We need to go by yours. 10 seconds. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna go out and refresh and make sure who, you know, that we give it to the right person. So hang on just a second, y'all babies. Judy Scalick at $18. You got a deal on those two, Judy. They are so cute. Oh, Crafty Jackie, sorry. Honey. Oh, Crafty Jackie, I'm sorry, baby. Well, you came in, if it makes you feel better, you came in after the stop anyway, so... Now, we've got you right after the stop, baby. We can take a picture of it and show them. Or put your thing over there and show them. All right. Michael Todd! Michael Todd, welcome to the house. Welcome to the house. Hey, Michael Todd. Hey, Aunt Peggy. How are you? Y'all say hey to my Aunt Peggy. Aunt Peggy, are you feeling good tonight, baby? Have you had a good weekend? Thank you, Crafty Jackie, you sweet thing. Okay. Did you tell Aunt Peggy, hey? Oh, hey, Aunt Peggy. <clears throat> All right, you need another item? Oh, no, no, you, you just rest, I'll get it. Just rest. Okay, next up I've got a uh, handmade apron. It's blue and white gingham check with um, red and blue cross stitch accents on all the pleats and all over the bottom with two pockets that are each trimmed in the cross stitch just really pretty and it's even pretty on the back <coughs> really good size too really really pretty vintage apron blue and white gingham the little blue and white gingham apron with a cross stitch trim is $12 and it's number 50 $12 number 50 for the blue and white gingham apron isn't it cute, Abby? Ducky Jones, Ducky you Jones. got it, baby. Man, they were. <clears throat> huh? That was close. I know it. That was close. Aunt Peggy, if you're still on here, Mark and I um, started the fall garden today. Oh, yeah, they went and got a bunch of stuff. He even bought her her own dishpan. I guess she's too good to use this, and we've had Aunt Peggy for 50 years. He bought her. He went to Andrew's Hardware and bought her her own dishpan for shelling in and putting up stuff in. No, Aunt Peggy, the problem is, is if I want to use this one that's heirloom down here, it has to immediately come back, come back. Like, it's not something I can keep right now, so. But at the APB on the dishpan. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we got here, baby doll. Oh, this, um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with these Libby. <laughs> here we go again. I shouldn't sound nothing that's, uh, from a foreign country or got any kind of foreign name in it because I just butchered the crap out of it. But it's this, I'm going to try from Pier 1, these Lebian ornaments. They're hand-blown and painted from the inside. Um, this is what it says. The art of Lebian or inside painting originated in China during the Qing Dynasty. It has been respected Chinese art for over 200 years. It is mouth-blown and meticulously hand-painted by a master artist. This process requires keen concentration and skill since the image must be painted in reverse through a tiny opening in the top of the glass. And it is an angel playing a harp. And then on the other side, it has doves carrying a banner that says 2015. And it is for the La Bien hand-painted reverse glass ornament is $8, number 36. $8, number 36. I mean, it's just amazing to me it's how very they do this. Nathaniel said, I'm shopping in Versace. <laughs> He's what? Shopping in Versace. Uh, Cheryl Megason. Cheryl, you got that beauty. <clears throat> Cheryl, I like the way you spell your name. Like Kelly. Kind of. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's kind of like mine. Mine's, I'm Kelly, but my mom's spelled as K-E-L-L-Y-E. 36 okay. is Cheryl Medicine. Michael Todd, I love Pier 1. Oh my God, Kelly Michelle could live there. I, when her and Mark got married, I bought her um, dishes from there, and she still uses them. That's unheard of for her. I mean, she still, it was the square, uh, their square dishes that they had years ago. It was a uh, white square. She she uses those all the time. No, they're not closing, are they? What? Oh, my. Pier 1's closing, yeah, though? That's the very reason I don't watch TV and watch news. You hear bad stuff like that. Oh, my gosh. That's upsetting. I love Pier 1. They are really closing and going strictly online. I, there's, people are saying they are. I cannot get over them closing. Man. Well, they still have an online present show. Surely to goodness, yes. Surely to goodness, they will. Hey, D. Hey, baby. D. D, we've been doing the um, offer thing, you know, where you B.I.D. on stuff. <laughs> Mama's and saying B.I.D. <laughs> like people. Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's working better, darling. It's working much better. <laughs> I know I'm so worried that the YouTube police is going to come to the door. Oh, like these kids behind YouTube fact checkers and Facebook. <laughs> Uh, YouTube. That's Google, ain't it? I, no, that is Facebook. He, his ass probably can't spell no way. Oh, Lordy. Okay, next up is a offer item or a bid item. I don't care about the you put two, please. It is, now the, the covers for this scrapbook was beyond saving. Far beyond saving. But this is the neatest thing I've had in a while. This is a scrapbook of Florence Helen Bernard and her friends who took a vacation from June the 28th to July 6th, 1947 up the East Coast. They went on, uh, they went by boat, they went by plane, and they went by car in different parts of it. And she has documented every single aspect of it. And all of these photos is documented. Like if she's got down here the date, like, um, this first cover is different places that she went, but then it's, it's chronicled by the day of what they did. See, like this is when um, they went to Atlantic City, 
And look at her dress. Now, there she is. She's saying she's standing on the boardwalk. Look at them shoes, honey. And it's just all the different things that, um, that she, you know, that they did and saw. Here is when they went to Arlington National Cemetery on the 4th of July, 1947. And she's got everything labeled and, um, documented about where they were and, Here's them at a restaurant eating, and I mean, the jewelry and the clothes and everything, and just, you know, I, I just thought this, I had to save it. I, I had to save it. Even though the cover was was past going, I just could not leave these, leave these there. This is like the, more in Washington. Is D the thrill of the thrift? Uh-huh. Okay. Washington's home at Mount Vernon. What does this say? Washington's tomb. But just the 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 clothes and the Let me see where. Here they're on the steps of the Masonic Temple, her and one of her friends. And this is when they went to Arlington National Cemetery, the Smithsonian in Washington, DC. That's the back cover right there. Um, here is both sides of Niagara Falls. They, you'll know exactly where they were. And, um, the St. Patrick's Church at Niagara Falls. They're showing it from the American side and the Canadian side in the pictures. Doris in front of our limousines. Look at that. Doris in front of our limousines. Motor coach transportation to and from Niagara Falls. Queens Park. I mean, these girls, these girls was, had, had it going on, I'm telling you. View of me along the shore of the Hudson River. West Point along the Hudson River. Now, this is when they took the boat tour of the Hudson. They've got pictures of all of it. This is in New York. Uh, this is July 1st and the 2nd, 1947. Uh, D said she got married in that church the first time. Central Park from the observation roof of the Rockefeller Center. I mean, I just couldn't get over it. Doris at Battery. Uh, a view from our hotel room in New York apartment building. The Battery in New York. I just, I just could not believe it. But I wish I could have that the covers would have been worth, you know. Salvaging or could, but I could not. But anyway, these, um, this whole grouping of scrapbook pictures about Doris and, um, her friend, their, uh, 4th of July trip is, uh, up for offers and the, uh, opening bid is, so bid. oh, and wait a minute, Kelly's got to set the timer. It's going to be on a 90, did I hit a thousand? Hot dog! We're going to have a giveaway, girls. A thousand what? Subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I didn't even realize it. Just call this best offer. Kelly says for me, just call this best offer and shut my mouth. And I ain't even give a side eye yet. No. The, uh, oh, I got to put the thing up here. Going to be for 90 seconds. What's the starting bid? The opening bid is... um. $15 start. Opening bid, $15 start for all of these pictures going up the East Coast of Doris and her friend's trip. Thanks, y'all. Thank y'all so much for helping Mom hit 1,000 subscribers. Abby's got it at um, 18. $18. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl, for posting the email. That's right, BMO smirking till. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't get over this. That's really nice. Thank you, Dee. I love you too, baby. How much time I got left, Kelly? 
35 seconds. 35 seconds, y'all. D's got it. Still got it at 18. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. She's going up. Ten Cozy seconds. Curated Cottage has it at 21. Uh, sorry. Get ready to hit stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. Okay, let me go out and refresh and make sure that um, we got it. Abby with Cozy Curated Cottage for $21. Abby, thank you, baby. You're going to love those. I thought that was just interesting as I'll get out. <laughs> Yay, Abby. That's right. Yay, Abby. I just thought it was so neat. Having that stray album. I forgot all about that. Yeah, I think you're right, Michael, about the... Yeah. When you bought something, you know... In past generations, you bought it to keep it for, you know, tried to for a lifetime if it was possible to do that. Plus, things were made better quality back then. I think so, too, Kelly. Notice I haven't done a side eye. <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> I'm immune to the side eye. Or what What the other lady call it? Stink eye. Miss stink eye. Stink yeah, stink eye. eye. Okay, up next I have a... Quilt top, and it is it's machine done, it's machine sewn, but that don't take away from it how cute it is. It is let's see, sixty four by seventy six, which I would think it finished would be a full size bed, and it is trimmed in a blue, edged out in blue bandana fabric, and it's all cotton, all cotton fabric. And it's just the uh, square, you know, the block squares. And try to raise it up a little bit by showing them up. And it's in perfect condition. I mean, there's not a stain or a tear or a rip or anything on it. And like I said, full size, 64, what did I say, baby? 60, 64, 64 by, 64 by 76. 76. And it's $20 and it's number 49 for the full size quilt top. $20, number 49. $20, number 49 for the vintage quilt top. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Whew. $20, number 49. D. Thank you, baby. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Fat Bird Fines. I didn't even know it until everybody was telling me a while ago. Oh, you sweet angel. Fines. We don't have them down yet. Right? No, uh -huh. add them because to the I got them. Fat bird fines. Uh huh. It's eight o'clock. You want to do another number generator? Yeah, do another number generator. We're gonna give away. Uh, we're gonna do a number generator for ten dollars off. Uh, anything in the sale or ten dollar to use. You know, ten dollar credit. It don't have to be this sale. You can do it anytime. April Fool won the first one we did tonight. 
So Kelly's getting ready to do another one. We'll see who gets this one. Number 25. Who's that, baby? Oh, shoot. Hold on. I almost dropped it. Oh. Uh, 25 is Randy. Hallman? Yeah. Randy Hallman, you got the $10, baby. You can use it any, on anything you get tonight, or if you don't see anything you want tonight, you can. we'll hold it for you and uh, keep a record of it, and you can use it on any future sale. You're welcome, Randy, baby. Okay, next up is another offer up bed thing. Okay, sorry, I didn't notice it was that. Well, you want me to do something else in the meantime? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I mean, let's like straight up sell something out. Yeah. <laughs> you are such a hoot, Kelly Michelle. Okay, next up I have this uh, Made in England Ironstone. New Orleans coffee mug. It's got St. Louis and uh, Re Royal Streets, Jackson Square, and Sternwheeler Scenic Cruises. I don't believe they're in business anymore. But I just thought it was strange that a England mug, made in England, had New Orleans on it. But anyway, it's just a vintage New Orleans mug. It's five dollars, number thirty-three. $5, number 33, for the Vintage New Orleans Made in England mug. Yes, we do, Randy, have a nice community of people on here. Yeah, I think it is restaurant wear. It probably came from a restaurant in New Orleans. Yeah, it's like a small village. Okay, next up is this vintage floor shine shoe stretcher. Solid wood. These are great for displaying um, things inside to use them as a stand or anything. Or just, you know, just to sit on a shelf. I've used them for um, bookends before. Just really neat piece. Solid wood, floor shine shoe stretchers. It's $12 and it's number 42. $12 number 42 for the floor shine wooden shoe stretcher. My favorite shoe. was his favorite. For sure. Yeah, he is. He, he's got some splaining to do. Don't tell me. <laughs> Okay, next up we have a new old stock from 1970. It is a, it's still sealed in the shrink wrap too. It's a Child's Library photo album set. It's five volumes from newborn, first year, toddler, preschool, and kindergarten. It's photo albums to keep, um, here's pictures of them. You know, just as mementos. And it, they hold, let's see if it tells you how many... Album cover and top of case can be personalized. Holds 180 photos of 4x6 or 3.5x5 size. And the children's photo album early years collection set is $8, number 35. $8, number 35. Plenty on the night experience to go with. <laughs> I 
Mm-hmm. Thank you, D. I thought they were cute, too. Who is the thrill of the thrift? D. D. She got them. Oh, thank you, D. Those are so cute. Okay, for any of you people out there that have blue and white uh, transfer wear or that have, um, you know, white ironstone, I have a set of eight vintage napkin rings, ceramic napkin rings, that are trimmed or hand-painted in blue. They have a little floral with then just a little... Um, See that design there? It's raised. I mean, it's a uh, texture. You know, what do you call that? Not relief, but I don't know what you call that. I can't think of that. But they are, there's a set of eight of them, and they are just gorgeous. And set of eight. They're $24, and they're number 15. $24, number 15, for the um, blue and cream ceramic neck rings. We still have <laughs> Nate and Michael haven't set a wedding date yet. Have they? They ain't even gone on a date, have they? Put this stuff that don't sell back here so I can. Oh, well. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you gave me the side eye that time. A little heifer. Are we getting supper tonight? Is Mark Campbell bringing us supper? My, Mark is tilling a uh, garden. Did y'all buy a tiller? He's hand tilling it, so no, we probably won't get supper. <laughs> God love that sweet angel. Pamela, I'm still getting ordained. Honey, I I want to travel to that. If they if they get you up, I I I will I will go for that. I will save up. <laughs> okay, next up is this really neat Sloan alarm clock, travel clock. It keeps perfect time. The uh, alarm works perfectly. I said it. It woke me up at 5 o'clock this morning. Believe you me, it's loud enough to wake anybody up except Kelly Michelle. It's in perfect condition. It has the outside dial that you can set, and then uh, it'll tell you what time it is for all these countries and cities around the world, which I thought was really neat. This had to be like a, a businessman or something that traveled that would have used one of these uh, to be able to, you know, that traveled internationally to, be, <laughs> to worry about what time it was in different countries and stuff. But it keeps perfect time. I've had it. It is a wind-up. Now, I wound this up yesterday mm -hmm. uh, right at lunchtime, and it's still going. So, and like I said, it works perfectly because it woke me up at the butt crack of dawn this morning. Um, It's, uh, oh, and it, uh, it's got a little hinge under here little lip and it's got a little ring there that it fits into and there's all your mechanisms that work it on the back but the vintage Sloan travel alarm clock with world time is $16 number 40 $16 number 40 that's true butterfly nurse Lisa Carl, she's first on yours. Yep, Lisa Carl, you got that baby. She can't. Who is vintage and vinyl? Do you know? Katie. Baby? She came in before Katie. Lisa Carl. C A R L. Lisa Carl. Okay. Just perfect. Okay, next up I have another vintage tea towel. 
This one is, um, this was fun. I would think this would be from the 70s, from the coloring. It's a vibrant blue with a sun and a little um, boho looking uh, donkey on it with a 1976 calendar. I just thought this was so cute. Just as cute as it could be. And the vintage boho donkey looking calendar tea towel is $6 and it's number 25. $6, number 25, for the vintage boho donkey. Look at that face on that donkey. Is he not cute as a button? Empty nesting too. Empty nesting too, you got it, baby. Cute as a button. It's very cute. I mean, it's quite, colorful. You too. would have to smile every morning when you got up to see that in your kitchen. Yeah, it's very colorful. Okay, next up is this set of vintage um, musical angel musicians. You can use them as ornaments or just stand them up. Either way. They're made in British Hong Kong, which means that they were, um, they're made between the 50s and 60s. If something says British Hong Kong on it, that's 50s out. to 60s. I don't and, um, want them to fall out. Okay. I hold them right. But they are in perfect condition. As you can see, they're new in the box. British Hong Kong, 1950 to 1960s, with the year that they were made, 10 years. They're $8, number 19. $8, number 19 for the set of angel musician ornaments or stand up, you know, use them standing up just on a table or something. Suzanne McLean, you got them, baby. Something here. Oh, I didn't see them, baby. I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay, next up is this set of uh, vintage Okago, Japan bud vases. It's the man and the woman musicians with the Kappa du Monte style flowers. Uh, he had each of them have three holes for the flowers. These were typically used on vanities or. Um, like mantles, you know, um, on top of the mantles, uh, they're just in perfect, perfect condition. Um, there's the little stamp, Okago, Japan, with their little seal and everything. They are, let me see how tall they are, four and a quarter inches tall, just as clean as a pen, and let me hold it up. Yeah. They're $15, number 28. $15, number 28 for the pair of porcelain bud vases. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. I thought that was pretty, too. Fifteen dollars, number twenty-eight. Thank you, baby. Okay. Up 
next, I thought this was really neat too. It's a kid camping book from A to Zip. And it's written by Patrick McManus. And it's things to do when you go camping. But it's from um, 1979. And it's Ar uh, Arthur, the Arthur signed it. So this is probably from a book signing at a bookstore, I'm sure. Um, but it is, um, it is just neat as it can be. Um, it tells you everything, like how to be prepared for everything. Air mattresses, air mattress pump, pillows, uh, backpacking, backyards. At, I mean, it's just, it goes from A to Z, literally, telling you everything you could possibly need for camping trip, do on a camping trip, uh, things to, uh, how to make jerky, uh, drinks you can make while you're there, food you should pack, um, I mean, it is just a complete guide for camping, and it's geared towards children, and I just thought it was so sweet, and it is $8 for the Kid Camping Guide, 20, number 22, $8, number 22, for the Kids Camping Guide. Pine needle tea, yeah. <laughs> Put that in here, buddy. Welcome back, Nate. Next up, I have a set of um, Burwood 1960s framed prints. They're floral prints, and they're in the plastic Burwood, you know, typical Burwood uh, cream and gold frames. They are... Six inches tall and five inches wide each. Just really pretty florals. Vintage wall hangings. They are $15 for the pair and they're number one. $15 for the pair and they're number one. I love camping. Not so much since I've gotten older as I used to. We used to go a lot when we were all kid, younger. When our kids was all younger. $15 number one for the set of vintage uh, Burwood wall hangings. That does sound good. Up next I have this vintage hair clip. It's gold tone leaf with um, pearls, three little pearls. It's just stylized real pretty. Let me see if I can put it in my hair without tearing my hair down. Just really cute, just a vintage hair clip. It's in perfect condition. Really cute, it's $7 for the vintage hair clip, number seven. Seven dollars, number seven, for the vintage hair clip. Is it not always around eight, between eight and eight fifteen, we all get on some kind of food kick? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what was that cheese that we used to get with Granny at the at uh, Holly Springs Church? That big. Uh, hoop cheese. Government cheese. Government cheese. Hoop cheese. Wasn't it? Hoop cheese. Big, thick, yellow cheese. It was that, uh... It was a government cheese, yeah. It was a long logs. It was square logs. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That darn it thing weighed tw 20 pounds. I don't know if that stuff was... Them, 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 them cheese toast was good. Oh, my God. It made the best burnt cheese toast. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Cheese toast ain't good to me unless the top is honked up, like blowed up, like air in it, and all brown and crusty. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go to Waffle House tonight. Come. No, 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 no. Mama, we have got so much going on. I just want to go to Waffle House. I didn't now. even finish my job before I left to come down here. 
I just want to go to Waffle House. My job was to take the the uh, the spent what you call it uh, rattlesnake. No, bag. Katie, it's a hair clip. It's a hair bow. You want to see it again, Katie? But I, I think you could probably let me see if I could use get, it as a brooch. Well, you would have to. It won't stick to clothing. You would have to put it on something like your collar or your lapel or something. See, you could you could wear it, but it would have to be like. On a lapel or, you know, on a, on your collar or something. They because it's, it's made like a, see, it's like a hair clip. Oh, Bemos Mercantile. Got it. Did she? I didn't yeah. see that. Sorry, Laura. Well, I'll be darn. No, that's number six. Uh, uh, sorry, Bemos Mercantile. Bemos Mercantile got the, uh, she said, Kelly Michelle, you miss me? <laughs> Laura. I'm so sorry. Is Laura the most mercantile? Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry about that, Miss Laura. Say she's sitting here thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. Okay. We were talking cheese. Up next, now I I love this book. This is called The Heart of the Dog. The Heart of a Dog, and it's by Albert Payson Tahune, and it is from 1924, and you, I mean, it is in pristine condition. The little guy, the boy's name is written in pencil in front, and I did not take it out. You can easily erase it if you want to. I just didn't, um, and it has, every chapter, I think, has two beautifully colored illustrations. And I mean, it is in immaculate shape. I mean, it's, it's in really good shape to be as old as it is from 1924. It doesn't smell musty. It smells like a good old library book. It doesn't smell like it's been cooked up somewhere for a long time. And I, I just couldn't get over the pictures. I just wanted to show y'all a few of them. But it's beautiful short stories about this animal and his life as he travels around. <clears throat> helping other pets and, and different things, but it's just in really, really great condition. It is just, it, it is a good read. I mean, I enjoyed it, so um, I know a child would probably. It would be a good one to read together with your child. Um, like I said, from 1924, Albert Payson through to Hume. It's twelve dollars for the um, the heart of a dog book, and it's number twenty seven. Twelve dollars, number twenty seven. I put um, Miss Laura's uh, hair clip thing down in the pocket of the blue jean purse she got. Okay, that's fine. Agamoy, you're. I'm glad somebody got that book because that's a wonderful book. You're going to love the story in it. I hope you read it because you're going to love the story. I got to get a, a Diet Coke refill, y'all. Hang on, just a second. Hang on a second, babies. Okay, we have another offer coming up. Let me get this ready. And it is for this vintage white frosted glass pagoda fairy lamp. It is in 
perfect condition with no chips or cracks or anything. Shaped, of course, like a pagoda. It is four and a half inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. The starting bid is $15 for the frosted glass. Let me hold it. Put a fairy light. And we're starting now. Bid's going for 90 seconds. Start at $15. Offer. For the Pagoda Fairy Light. $15 for the Pagoda Fairy Light. We've got a minute. A minute left. Agamoy's got it so far at 15. Agamoy, you still got it at 15, honey. Corey. Corey's got it at 16. 40 seconds. We got two people at seventeen dollars. Agamoy at seventeen and pounds at Galactic Plate. Agamoy at eighteen. Twenty five seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Stop. Stop. Okay, let me go out and refresh and see who got it. Yeah, that works out a lot better doing that stop and refreshing. D, that works out a lot better. KCATX, you got it at 20, baby. That's beautiful and very unusual. I hadn't seen one like that before. Number 54, KCATX. I love that thing, don't you? Mm-hmm. I mean, how different is that? Very different. Very, very pretty. Heavy. It is heavy, ain't it? Okay, let's see. Okay, Kelly, set your timer again. We're gonna do another offer. Up. We're gonna do another offer, babies. This is one of my more unusual items here for the night. Um, it comes in this case, um, very nice um, case, and it is a butterfly collection. Butterflies, dragonflies, and it is just really, really well done and really pretty. The names of each of the specimens is um, on there with them. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there it goes. Um, you want me and to hold it? I just thought that that was so unusual. It would be very pretty to. Um, I started. What I was going to do was I was going to um, take each one out and put it in its individual shadow box, or maybe put two in a shadow box together. And I just couldn't make myself do it. I mean, somebody collected these together, and I just felt like they should stay together. So, um, anyway, um, it, it's hard for me to part with this one, but I, I mean, I don't have anywhere to display it and for anybody to enjoy it like that. And just look at all that. Look at that one up here. 
I mean, I just thought that they were so unusual and beautiful. But anyway, it's going to be a offer item. It starts, uh, the opening bid is going to be $15. We're going for 90 seconds. Start. Opening bid is $15. Stop saying the word bid. And it's going for 90 seconds. Prop it up so I can see the time, baby. Thank you. Michael Todd's got it at 30. Thank you, Michael. I was hoping somebody would love it like I love it. I mean, it's hard to part with this one, but. Michael Todd's coming in hot. That's right, Abby. <laughs> but isn't it just so unusual? This came from uh, the estate of a um, professor out here at the university. And he had some neat, neat things. Thank you, Cynthia. I thought it was a pretty collection myself. Does Michael still have it at 30? Yes. 23 seconds. Yes, it's very unique. <laughs> Eight seconds. <laughs> Was I that loud, Nate? <laughs> you gotta stop. Stop. Hold that up for me, baby. Let me get out and refresh. I'm sure Michael got it, but just to be fair about everything, I want to do it all the same. <laughs> Entomologist. Yes, yes Casey. Yes. yes. I could not think of that word earlier today to save my life. Yep, Michael Todd, you got it at 30, baby. Thank you so much. I'm so glad somebody's going to love that. I'm so glad. I loved it. You will cherish them. I'm so glad. That man, I wish. See, that was the uh, the people running this estate. So if y'all been watching my videos for a while, you know there's one company in town that don't let me um, record or don't let anybody. They don't don't pick on me. They don't they don't allow recording inside the estate sales. And this was one. And if there was ever an estate sale that I would have loved to have been able to show y'all what he had, it was this professor. I mean, he traveled the world, and he had the neatest, uh, most unusual things you have ever seen in your life. His mask collection, there were people coming from out of state to buy the mask that this man had in his collection. Um, and um, carved uh, carved um, figures, and I, I just don't know. Oh, and... And uh, textiles, oh my word, my word, the rugs and the, it was just something else. It was really and truly something else. It was really pretty. But Michael, I'm so glad, baby, that you got that and that you're going to love them. Okay, next up is a, um, from the Snowy Woods Fitz and Floyd collection, is this owl, I mean, owl, shoot, or fuzzy, it's this Christmas rabbit, and look at his little glass eyes, how pretty they are. Hey, it's just a little trinket box. Or you could use them to put little, you know, I get, he wouldn't be too big of a candy dish for me, but, you know, for somebody that wasn't a pure, pure hog, I guess he could work. But he's just really pretty in perfect condition. The Fitz and Floyd Snowy, Snowy Woods Rabbit is $8, and he's number 20 eight dollars number 20 for the little glass-eyed rabbit oh michael honey i would i would give anything it just made me sick when uh 
when I saw everything and then realized it was the company that wouldn't let you uh, film in there. Got you, Randy. It was a three-story half. Well, it was a basement and then a main level and then the bedrooms on top. And when you got up to the top of the landing in this house, it was like a huge open gallery and there were four bedrooms on each side. And for anybody else's family, I guess this big gallery area would have been like a playroom for the kids because the four bedrooms in a in a regular family or a, anyway, but he, he was using this play or what I'd call a rec room area for a gallery. You have never in your life. I stayed in that thing, in that house for six hours and I still did not make it uh, to see. Well, I made it down to the basement, but I didn't see everything in the basement. I, you have never in your life seen a collection of stuff like this man oh, had. Uh, Randy, uh, Randy, you want to use your uh, ten dollars off? Oh, what number is that? So I can put it on here and not forget it. Randy got the snowy owl. I mean, uh, he got the the rabbit. The rabbit. Uh, Randy's a girl, baby. Oh, sorry. Um, I apologize, Randy. Use ten dollar credit. Use ten dollar credit. Yeah. Let me find, let me Billy. mark it on my list to use $10 credit. You got it, baby. And say mark her off the back, and that way I won't put her on the list on my spreadsheet that keeps up with uh, people who haven't used it yet. Okay. Okay. This is perfect. This is a perfect set right here for the coming up holidays. It is a set of um, silver plated buffet caddies. And it is for a play setting of 12. Each, each thing holds 12 pieces of uh, flatware. And you've got the uh, spoons, knives, and the forks. And the knives, see it's got the little slots. And so it holds all of them individually. And you can just pull them out so it doesn't damage, you know, your silverware by uh, clinking them together or anything. And it's the Baroque um, pattern. You've got the knife, caddy, spoon caddy, and the forks. And like I said, they held 12 pieces each. Knife, spoon, and fork. And they are, uh, that's, hold on a second, let me get this up. That's what it looks like when you're serving out of them. See how the knives, you can just pull each each single knife out and they hold it separate. Mm -hmm. It's just a real pretty set for the holidays. If anybody's doing a big family dinner uh, for Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas, anything, this is the thing to have. I have some or I wouldn't be getting rid of these. And I don't, ha I don't ever use more than 12. So there wasn't no sense in me keeping these two. But they're $15, number 37. $15, number 37 for the... Um, three-piece set of silver-plated uh, buffet caddies that holds 12 serving pieces each. A serving to 12 is what it holds. $15, number 37. They are so crazy. <laughs> Ain't they a mess, D? If it's a holiday, I might piss. <laughs> I know it. Greasy, ain't they? They are food, ain't they? Okay, next up I have a vintage, um, this is from 1981, a planner's um, 75th anniversary canister jar with the rubber seal. It has the same thing on both sides, the little planner's peanut man, and then it's got uh, the raised embossing on there of him, the planner's logo, and then 75th anniversary down there. It is... Dated 1981 on the bottom with the planter sky. And the 
Anniversary Planner's Jar is $15, and it's number eight. $15, number eight. Weird and, huh. Oh, do you? Katie, that would be cool. That would be very cool. I've lost the ability to die. <laughs> I know it. I do it all the time. I do that all the time, Casey. Yeah, Kelly's been organizing her pantry, too, but... She's, uh, she's decided, well, her laundry room, she's starting on her laundry room, and she's decided to go with, um, vintage white and black enamel wear, which has, uh, set me back a pretty penny, I can tell you that right now. Okay, next up is a new old stock, um, cruel embroidery kit of these three little owls. The finish size, let's see. It's from 1973, five by four. The frame and all the threads, needles, and the pattern and everything is included. It's Persian yarn, and it may you the finish is this little. And what I liked about this was it wouldn't take you a long time to finish this and have a finished product <laughs> up. Michael Ty. <laughs> But it is, the kit for the owl, uh, Cruel Embroidery is $16, and it's number three. $16, number three, for the Owl Cruel Embroidery kit. Do you empty nesting? Kelly's gotten to where she loves it, too. I don't know why. Blue Flamingo Mercantile, you got that. I'm hooked on it now. Can I just put Blue Flamingo? Uh-huh. Kelly, we have made it through almost this whole sale without one side eye. Shoot, fur fuzzy. If you, hey, if you'd have known uh, years ago that making it public would embarrass me enough to stop that shit, you'd have done it a long time ago, wouldn't you? <laughs> hey, come help me hold this tablecloth up, baby. Just a second, Mom. <laughs> anyway, next up I have this homemade Christmas holly tablecloth. With red rip rack around it. And I didn't measure. I know it's a rectangle, but I didn't measure it. So we're gonna, just going to hold it up. Oh, we got to turn it around. Oh. And it's in perfect condition. Not a thing in this world wrong with it. Just real bright green holly with red berries and red rip rack trim around Homemade tablecloth, just green floral Christmas with red berries. And the tablecloth is $15 and it's number 45. $15, number 45 for the Christmas tablecloth. Hold it back out, Mom. I would say that this would fit on one of those, uh, like, white plastic rectangle tables. Yeah. Very good. So one of those, like, six, six foot. Six foot. Y'all, I would say this is probably fit on a six foot rec rectangular table. Whoop. Thank you, darling. Okay, the Christmas holly with red berries tablecloth is $15, number 45. It's thick, y'all. It's good quality. Yes, but it's heavy quality cotton. With that. Thank you, Teresa. Kelly Michelle, do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> I do not. I have. I actually have a half brother. She's spoiled, absolutely. Well, I shouldn't say that. I should not say she's. I am not she spoiled. Doesn't, she what. doesn't act spoiled. She doesn't act spoiled, but. I do spoil her. I do spoil her. Because she is the love of my life and my best friend. And I don't know what in the world I'd do without her. Those Especially Grimes, now. As I get the... older, I don't know what I'd do without her and Mark. <coughs> Thank you, Doug Grimes. You're going to like Doug. that. It's, it's very vibrant. Uh, vibrant in color. Very pretty. Okay. 
Okay, next up I have another cookbook. This one is from Florence, Alabama. And this is the Quilters Guild. And this is another book, cookbook that's got some good old timey recipes in it. And it's just one of these that they, uh, you know, use to raise money. Uh, and it's got, let's see, this one is, this one is awesome. about 190 pages. And that's not counting the index and then the forward and all of that. But um, it's got your typical appetizers, sweets, bar cookies, uh, poultry. And then it's got in the front, let's see, Quilts by the River is the, is the um, say Quilts by the River from Florence, Alabama. And uh, it's just a really good little recipe book. It's $6 and it's number 30. $6, number 30. Uh, Slick Hendrix 941 said, what a beautiful compliment. I would have loved to hear that from my mother. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, honey, all oh, this page is good to me. It so does. Uh oh, which one? Which one's showing first on yours? Because there's several. Laura Bemos. Oh, Joanne, you don't worry about it, darling. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope that your um your sister's doing okay. Cause I know how that is. Um, I had to take care of my mama a little over two years, and so um I know how that is. Laura Bemos is Bemos Mercantile. Uh huh. Thanks, y'all. My mom is very sweet. And Karina, I'm hey, darling. Mm -hmm. How are you? Karina, let's get her name on here. Where is she? Hold on, on my Tarnished Treasures. Is that Sweet Karina? Angel, yes. Tarnished Treasures. Mm -hmm. Which were. Thank you so much, baby. Okay, let's see. We're going to do set your timer for uh, 90 seconds, baby. Okay, just a second. your name all over it, Abby. What was that you was talking about? <sighs> Let's see. Oh, man, that has my name all over it. A little... It must have been the quilting cookbook. You got it set? Hold on a second. I'm ready to. Okay, let me... Hold on a minute. <sighs> Okay, next up is going to be an offer. It is for this amber fairy light that is in perfect condition. I believe this is Indiana glass. I'm almost certain it is. Um, it's got the stars and bars pattern. I think that's right. Ain't that it, Dee? I think it's called stars and bars. But it's the amber fairy lamp. It is six inches tall. And like I said, in perfect condition. And it's going to be a um, offer. Starting bid is $15. It's going to go for 90 seconds. Start. 90 seconds start. And opening bid is 15 Indiana Glass Stars and Bars. Thank you, Katie. I thought that was it. Yeah, Michael, I, th I thought it was. I get all these names and stuff confused, you know, but, uh, but and it's not hard for me, believe me. Mary Scott's got it at 20. <laughs> Nate said another fairy lamp. Are you sure you're not cranking them out of the big <laughs> shed? <laughs> Nate, we ain't even gotten them sheds yet. I, I'm, I'm, I'm yes, we have. Them. I've been getting in the we, shed and getting stuff out. A little bit, okay. Well, there went that side eye. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> Mary Scott's got it at 20, and we've got 38 seconds left. <laughs> Mary Scott's got it at 20 with 38 seconds left. 
Kelly thinks I don't get rid of nothing, but I am getting, I am. But I then am. she goes and buys. Blue Flamingos got it at 22 with 19 seconds left. You're gonna, you getting your word stop? Ready? Oh, I gotta stop and stop. Hold on a minute. Four, three, three two, one, stop. Okay, let me get out and then refresh and see who exactly got it. I ain't got overselling them darn butterflies yet, Kelly. <laughs> and you fussing at me about it. I ain't. <laughs> Okay, let me go back out here. Blue Flamingo, you got it at $22, baby. Nate <laughs> said, I did just hit me. You cracking them fairy lamps out in the back? <laughs> He's a nun. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Let me see how tall this is for a start. Next up is this piece of milk glass. It's four inches tall. It's an urn style planter with a little square base. I believe this is Westmoreland, but I can't really tell if that's on that or not. It's just really pretty, four inches tall. White milk glass, urn style planner. It's seven dollars, number thirty-four. Seven dollars, number thirty-four. It does look like a baby trophy, don't it? <laughs> hey, Rachel. Hey, baby. You snuck in on me. Joanne Baber, you got that, darling. Joanne. Mm-hmm. What was that? Number, th number 34. Joanne Baber. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's got a W, but I can't really tell for sure because... Yay! I'm so glad you got some too, darling. I'm so glad. Okay. I think it was Abby, but I think she was just wanting it because it was a quilt one. Oh. Okay. Okay, next up I have this brand new set, well, new old stock set of Longa Burger Salt and Pepper, and it is in the uh, classic blue pattern. <clears throat> Salt and pepper, new old stock, longer burger, salt and pepper. And they're really good size. Never been used. Stoppers ain't even, stoppers are still in their little um, protective sleeves. The longer burger, salt and pepper, and uh, classic blue are $15, number five. $15, number five, for the new old stock Longa Burger Salt and Pepper. <laughs> yeah, she popped in. Tarnished Treasures must be taking a break from all that housework. She, I'm telling you what's true. She makes me feel like absolute slob. If she ain't if she ain't making something beautiful with her hands, she is organizing that house. I'm telling you what's the truth. Okay, next up is this beautiful Virgin Mary planner. Uh, it doesn't have a maker on it. It just has a real small mark, 49. 
4917 down there. And this thing is just, she is just gorgeous. Look at her face. She is nine and a quarter inches tall. And the little Virgin Mary planner is $16 and she's number 44. $16, number 44. My husband is shaking. <laughs> it's a Madonna. Yes, darling. I'm sorry. A Madonna planner. Thank you, Teresa. On the thumbs up. Let me give myself a thumbs up. Okay, we got one more cookbook. This is from the Russellville Humana uh, Seniors Association. Country favorites. And this is... Uh, Lisa Carr, we got you for number 44. Was that the planner? Yeah. Lisa Carl, Virgin Mary planner. Madonna. Madonna, sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I knew that, but I didn't. Lisa Carl. Okay. Uh, this is a small, uh, this is a, a smaller cookbook. This is a hundred pages of recipes. Um, but it's really, really, it's really good recipes in here. And, um, again, it's from the Russellville Humana Senior Association in Russellville, Alabama. And it is $4, number 31. $4, number 31 for the, uh, Russellville Seniors Association cookbook. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what number was that? 31. Nobody got it, did they? No, I'm just... Oh, marking. you're making, marking them for me? Oh, yeah, they did, Laura. They must got it. Thank you, Laura. Okay, next up are these new uh, Pampered Shelf. There's a bamboo claw salad uh, tongs. Salad claws, it says. Salad claws. One's a scoop looking style and one's a claw. Bamboo, Pampered Shelf, never been used. $15, number four. $15, number four on the Pampered Shelf uh, salad claws. Those are awesome. I'll have some. Yep. That's, yeah. They are good. Cozy Curetti Cotter said, That is a top tip, Michelle. Going forward, can you just nod and wink if I win something, Pamela? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are you not supposed to say your name out loud? Hold on. One created for girls. I guess so. Uh, like other people, like if you're in the house, like if you, other people in the house won't hear that you that you got something. Oh, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. And somebody said that's what earbuds are for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if y'all want to keep it on the down low, just... Well, shoot. You know, I I don't know why I said that. I don't know why. There I ain't no way that you can be quiet. Yeah, so might I don't know why I even said in. that. You know, that was just a bald face lie. Because y'all know I ain't got no filter. And I be telling the world. So... One creative for girls says, Hello, my friend. That's the first time I'm seeing... That yeah. Person. Hi. Hello, one creative for girls. Did you tell them what number this was? Yeah, I told okay. them it was number four. Okay, next up is um I found another one of these uh Lennox 2003 uh Santa Claus ornaments with the tree and the little gift like I saw last week. And he is 
seven dollars number six for the Linux 2003 Santa Claus ornament with the present and the little tree. Thank you, Mama J. <laughs> D got that one. Thank you, D. Isn't he precious? Mm -hmm. With his little 2003 on his cap. What'd you do, Michael? Dark navy. What, baby? Where is this one right here? No? Okay, never mind. We've already done it. Sorry. That's okay. Um, give me just a moment, Mom. Okay. Everything, um, everything else that's left that hasn't done, I think is, um, what you call it? Okay, next items. I think the rest of the items we have are offers, but it's already 9 o'clock, so I'm going to do two more things, and then we'll, uh, we'll save the rest of them for next week, I guess. Hey, Michelle! Okay, this next item we're offering up is a piece of Stangle Pottery. This beautiful gray with the green inside, twisted handle. Double sided dish, and it is. Well, let me get it. Hold on a second. Let me get this ready. I gotta get my thing ready too. Are oh, you quick, Emma? Okay, this is going up for offer. The starting bid is fifteen dollars. Going for ninety seconds. Start. Starting bid fifteen dollars on this piece of stangle. Offer. Gray and green. Lord God help us. With the um, y'all want me to keep going? Longer than nine o'clock? Just keep going till I got my stuff done. <laughs> Good night, Karina, baby. I love you. Good night, Karina. Thank you for coming, darling. Can we just see? <laughs> Nate is on me. <laughs> what did Nate say? <laughs> They're telling you to keep going. Okay. Yup, that's right, Nate. <laughs> okay, y'all don't, ain't nobody interested in the stangle? Okay. Okay. You, you, it's, it's, it's not okay, you gotta let it run out. Oh. 29 seconds, 28 seconds, 27. Blue Flamingo Mercantile's got it right You basically get a deal, sister. Get your stock ready now. 10 seconds. Three, two, stop. one, stop. Blue Flamingo, you just got a deal, baby. Blue Flamingo got the piece of Stangle for $15. Yay! <laughs> it's pretty. The next offer item is this uh, mid-century modern set of two Milburn chrome and wood trays that have never, ever been used. Have you ever in your life, could you see a bar set up with these with appetizers or your fruit for your drinks or anything set up out there? I mean, look at that chrome and this wood. Both of them still have the stickers. I mean, I just couldn't get over it. Look at that design on there. I just love them. And again, it's Melbourne Creations out of Newark, New Jersey. 
and we're going doing this on an offer. And let's see. For 90 seconds, starting bid is $15. Start for the two pieces of um, Melbourne mid-century modern chrome and wood trays. Fifteen dollars. Melbourne Chrome is and the wood. starting offer. You got to remember. Mm -hmm. One minute left in this offer up. Jane Tipton's got it at 16. 40 seconds left. Kelly Michelle. <laughs> Laura Bebo said you was grinding your teeth. <laughs> Yes, they are great mid-century pieces, and they've never been used. There is no way in this world these could have ever been oh, used. Oh, no, those have never been used. Never. It's a damn offer, Mama. Stop, 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 stop. Y'all got me laughing. It's a damn offer, Mama. <laughs> Refresh it. <laughs> somebody was out for, somebody was knock on the door right now and pay on my Zoom. Okay, let me refresh real quick. Make sure we got the right person. <laughs> oh, y'all are so crazy. Okay, let me see who got this. Blue Flamingo, you got them for $17. Don't you say, don't you say, uh, you know I'm going to say it every time. You so crazy. Okay. I'm just not 13. That's a good deal on those. Do you have a mid-century bar? Hold on a minute, I'll get them. You just rest your pretty self over there. You got your hands full trying to keep me from saying bed on this video. <laughs> okay, the next item I have up for offer is, I believe, this is not dated. This is a, um, a handmade piece of ceramic. It's a Zodiac ashtray, but I, I can almost guarantee you this is from the 70s. It's just signed Johnson on the back. But look at this piece of awesomeness. Look at every one of those Zodiac signs. And that sun. I mean. Hey, Vintage Vinny. And it's just, let's see. It is. Uh-oh. It is 10 inches across. And I mean, it is just gorgeous and does not have not a thing wrong with it. I thought that this was just, and I've had this, I ain't no telling how long have I had this, Kelly? I don't know. Years. I mean, uh, probably, I, I would say decades. <laughs> I'd say more than 10 years. I know for sure more than 10 years. But um, it is just a really gorgeous piece. But it is going up for as an offer. Just a second. I know it. I'm going to give you time, baby. 
And I'm not going to say the bad word. I'm not going to say that bad word. Okay? You got it ready? Tell them, did you tell them what this Okay. Is? Opening bid is $15. Start. Going for 90 seconds for the vintage ashtray with the zodiac symbols and the sun in the middle. It's got each and every little zodiac sign on there. Best offer. Did I not say that? <laughs> Vinny. Kelly Michelle's got her hands full tonight trying to keep my keep my mouth in check. She's gonna need a stiff drink when this is over. <laughs> Joanne Babers got it at 17. 40. <laughs> You're going to have to be on your P's and Q's now. <coughs> Kelly Michelle rear back. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Joanne still got it at 17. <laughs> Mama J, Mama needs some shrimp fried rice. I know it. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Connie, Connie. Hmm? Connie, Connie's got it at 18. Ten seconds. Mine is insane. Hit stop. Stop. Okay, let me go out and refresh. So I can get the right one. I think we know, but let's just be fair about this. Connie, Connie, you got that one for $18 for the vintage ashtray. Thank you, baby. Did I do that right that time, baby? Come and sit your timer, baby. Okay. Okay. This is going to be another offer. I got these. This set of Culver Christmas glasses with the poinsettias at the same house that I got that mid-century uh, set of Milburn chrome and wood trays. I got a set of four. They're marked Culver, made in the USA. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 24 karat gold trim. Absolutely perfect condition. Set of four. Starting bid is $15. Start. Going for 90 seconds. For the set of four. Culver. Hope y'all can see that. Poinsettia glasses. Beautiful green leaves. 24 karat gold trim on the poinsettias. Absolutely gorgeous. Go ahead and type in the word stop. 56 seconds. Teresa Bryant's got them at 15. Set of four Culver Christmas glasses with the Christmas poinsettias. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Miss Teresa still got them at $15. Ain't they pretty? Mm -hmm. You 
got a new one. Ann Dallas at 16. Teresa Bryan at 17. 10 seconds left. 4. Ann Dallas at 20. 3, 2, Stop. 1. Stop. Okay, let me go out and refresh this. Uh-oh. I hit the wrong one. Okay. Let me refresh. And go back in and see who got it. Okay, stop. Thank you, Vinny. I didn't know until somebody told me. And Dallas, you got that baby. The set of four Culver Christmas glasses for twenty dollars. And Dallas. Thank you, baby. Okay, this is the last item I have. Um, that's going to be on the offer up or for tonight period. Let's see. Thanks, y'all, for the congrats on the 1,000 subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> it is this set of vintage... Um, Good night, Nate. Salt and pepper shake. Night, Nate, baby. Salt and pepper shakers from Washington State. They're little apples. They are Norcrest, made in Japan. I have replaced the... They had store cork stoppers in them, but they was just so old and brittle. I did put plastic stoppers in them. But it's just the little underplate and the two Washington State apples. It's a new little souvenir salt and pepper set. Just really, really cute. And they are um, starting at $10. Start. Going for 90 seconds. And like I said, they had those cork stoppers, but... I had to replace them with little plastic ones because they were just deteriorated so bad. Cute little apples. And the plate says, the under plate says Washington State. Washington, the apple state, I'm sorry. Superior Girl Vintage says, Pam and I did a swap forever ago. You all should go and watch those videos. Yeah, they're good. My best friend watched one of them last night. Well, one of my best friends watched one last night and called me. Can you go ahead and type the word stop to be ready? 40 seconds. Hmm. Nobody wants Washington State apples. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You just need to at least let it run out. I know. Okay. Susanna. Suzanne McLean's got it at 10 seconds. I mean, $10. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Thank you, Suzanne. Those are precious, baby. And that's all we've got for tonight, babies and girls and boys. I'll do some of the things that didn't sell next week. Cheaper than therapy. Well, thank you, baby. We have fun on Saturday nights, too. Oh, Honeycrisp. Oh, I love Honeycrisp apples. Thank you, Katie. Thank y'all for being here. I love all y'all so much. Now, Kelly Michelle says she's not going to eat. She's going to keep on drinking wine. But I've got to go get me something to eat. I love y'all to pieces, and thank you for being here. We had a good time. I love y'all. Bye-bye.